Hi everyone, welcome back to Coding with Bharat channel. So if you are new to the channel, do make sure that you subscribe. And if you like this video throughout, then make sure that you hit the like button as well. So before we move on, what we are doing here, we are trying to sum up the different kinds of rounds that we can face in coding interviews. So we have already covered three. If you have not watched them so far, I would advise you to first go and watch those and then come to this fourth round. So this round, unlike the system design round, can actually be asked to a fresher or a one year experience person as well, which is a round focused around concurrency and managing and writing concurrent code. So for this round, you need to be very, very clear with OS concepts like threads versus processes, how threads are scheduled and into the concepts of critical section and what kind of problems are specific to race conditions, right? And what are the ways to avoid deadlocks and race conditions? More important than all of these theory is to actually be able to write practical concurrent code, which is bug free, which is deadlock free as well. So this is one example of one such coding question that I got in one such interview, which said that, let's say you are given an array of size two to the power n. So the size of the array would always and always be in the order of two to the power n. There are some threads which are scheduled to run merge algorithm from merge sort for certain certain lengths of the array. So as an example, let's say we have an eight length array. So there are some four threads that are working on two two size sub arrays. Then there are uh, similarly, you can say four threads, sorry, two threads, which are sorting or which are merging four, four length two sub array. And there is one thread which is merging the entire array. So if there are such four plus two plus one, that is four, five, six and one seven, seven such threads which are parallelly spawned, how do you make sure that your algorithm actually concludes that is threads are scheduled in correct order to make sure that you get a sorted array at the end. So for this, what do you need to do? You need to first allow all the two length threads to run. Once all of them complete, then only you can allow four length threads to complete. And then lastly, you can allow the eight length thread to complete. One small optimization that you can do that if two two length sub array of initial part are done, you can allow scheduling of the next four length, which comprises of these two two length sub array. So yeah, writing all these concurrent code, making sure that synchronization is achieved amongst them is what is desired in such a coding interview round. Okay. How do we go about and prepare this? So make sure that you have good knowledge of one programming language and specifically multi-threading in that language. So this could be either Java or C++ or Golang. These are the language which support them well. Python and JS slightly not that well in terms of multi-threading. Second, Learn about the major concepts of critical sections. What is wait and notify? What are semaphores? What are monitors? All these things will actually combine together to make sure that you are able to write deadlock free codes. Also, just knowing the theory is not enough. Actually code the stuff out. Code producer consumer, code dining philosopher problems, right? All these named problems to make sure that you are actually able to see how they run in a multi-threaded environment. Last, there are lead code problems again on concurrency topic as well. So you can log into lead code and try to attempt those problems. So this is about the third, prob third uh, fourth kind of round, which is the concurrency round. So if you like the video, do make sure that you hit the like. Let's see you guys in the next one where we discuss the fifth kind of round that I faced in these coding interviews.